what is going on YouTube family Mike D aka Dead Cynic coming at you with a let's review video first thing that we're gonna do is pack up a nice fat dab with some dipping dabs and then we're gonna talk about the clean pump I'm pretty excited about this product uh, I just think that honestly more people don't have it because they don't know that it exists but once we get the awareness out there I'm sure that it'll be in every serious dabbers arsenal because it is one of those must-haves but first let's go ahead and take a nice fat dab of some super glue out of the red menace cheers everybody very nice we got a little reheat on that let's go ahead and do this real quick Hope everybody's having a good day. Oh. Let's go ahead and share this product with you guys and get into it. So, first thing, where can you find it? So, if you get on Instagram, you can find them under Clean Pump. And if you actually just want to go straight to the website and check out, because their website is actually pretty detailed and in depth, and they have their, you know, what is a clean pump, and there's actually two different versions. So if you want to check out everything, you can also visit their website, which is cleanpump.com. Super duper easy, just clean with a K, <coughs> and you're there. So what is this thing? Well, it's this guy right here. The clean pump, the V3 anyway, because there's two versions, the V1 and the V3. The one that you will find for sale by itself is going to be the V3, and this is going to be uh, $14.99. So, you know, um, I want to say like a little under 20 bucks with shipping, probably around like 18 or 19 bucks. But a very nice wide bottom glass base, and that holds six fluid ounces of alcohol or DC cleaner. I was actually asked uh, on my Instagram feed by somebody, I think it was cryptic, if this could hold something a little more viscous, and uh, I explained that it totally could. <coughs> Excuse me guys, I just gotta grab something to drink. Woo! That was a good dab. This guy also has a copper pump. It's all pretty much one piece when it comes to you and what I like about it is that the the pump itself if you see there aren't any holes on the sides it's on the bottom so this makes the most out of the alcohol that you pour in there because I find that when it draws when there's holes on the sides then it's not going to get anything below those holes but if the holes on the very bottom of the stem then you're going to get the most out of the liquid that you put in there and it is sitting fairly close to the bottom so you're going to get to use most of that stuff before you have to fill it up again. And then you have a little martini style cup right there. You get one press down and the entire cup fills up with ISO or DC cleaner. So you can uh, get your swab in there and then clean out your banger. I think that this is an awesome, awesome little product. Uh, one of the reasons that I think it comes in, comes in handy is because my dab station and most dab stations unless you ask for them and I'm gonna throw this out there there are different styles of dab station that don't look anything like this where it's like maybe a little bowl and it's a hollow bowl so you can fill that up with alcohol and then there's like a little stem in the middle with a, uh, a cap like this and so there's a lot more alcohol volume in there I'll admit that there's different kinds of dab stations but a lot of dab stations that you're gonna find are going to look kind of like this and the ISO chamber is not going to be super huge 
so it's really nice comparatively and we'll uh, let's get both of them here so comparatively there's probably like a half ounce to a single ounce in this if if it's a single ounce at all I really don't think it is and then six ounces in here that's a big difference <clears throat> so if you like to if you're the kind of patient where you take a couple of dabs it can get kind of annoying trying to fill that thing up all the time and not overspilling it or getting it into that little chamber so this is a lot easier and more convenient to use <clears throat> having said that the V1, which I didn't realize until I think it was Jeff left a comment on Brother Max's page about how he bought uh, the V1 and the V3 for 15 bucks. I was like, wait a minute. I thought the V3 was like 14 bucks, which is true. So you can buy the V3 for $14.99, or you can do the smart thing and spend one extra dollar and get the V1 and the V3 for $15.99. That's a, that's a dope deal because it's not even like an addition to the V3. It's a completely separate product. It's a little, I don't even want to say little because it's bigger. It actually holds seven fluid ounces. It's a plastic container that you can use when you're on the go. It's made to be spill proof. It's got a locking uh, snap cap and it's pretty much the same idea, just a little bit wider. So the entire cap you press down and there's an indentation in it that fills up with ISO and then you use that you, uh, you mop it up with your uh, with your banger so let's go ahead and see if I can get a good function shot here sorry guys I actually pulled it out a little bit so we got to refill it here there we go Bam! see that and that's just the right amount to get your q-tip nice and soaked run it around in there this is from the dab that we took so we have the dry side there and then we have the wet side oh yeah gets a lot of stuff out of there <clears throat> very dope product guys I think it's a great small business to help grow and get the word out there about so if you want one super easy to find again if you're on Instagram you can find them at clean pump if you don't want to do that and you want to go straight to the website you can also find them at cleanpump.com and that's pretty much it guys it's a really dope product it's pretty self-explanatory it's got a nice wide base so you don't have to worry about tipping anything over it's very sturdy um, the pressure so the spring on that cup because I was asked that as well the pressure that you need to actually push that down is very light so you're not gonna bend your q-tip as you're pushing it down unless you use those piece of, piece of shit uh, plastic ones but if you use some half decent q-tips then you don't like you're gonna be just fine you hardly need any pressure to push it down and you got yourself a full little cup of ISO or DC cleaner to uh, mop up with your q-tip so that you can clean out your banger really appreciate you guys watching I hope that you learned something I hope that you found a new product to invest in or at least something to think about you should have some kind of dab station or some kind of setup to help you clean your dab stuff after you're done dabbing because it definitely helps you get more flavor and more appreciation out of the stuff that you're dabbing on. And uh, yeah, we'll just throw that out there like that. If you guys like this video, if you did learn anything, do me a favor, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let people know that we are getting information out there, that we have products to review, and that we're talking about stuff. Much love from the Valley out in Cali, guys. I will be seeing you very soon. I'll be on the next hash revival with brother nathan aka the 710 extractionist and then we have the upcoming videos for the new week so i hope everybody is having a great weekend so far i'll see you soon be safe